Israel's renowned writer and journalist Yoram Kanyuk passed away at the age of 83. A short while before his passing, Kanyuk gave JN1 an exclusive interview. And in what was probably one of his very last interviews, he shared with us his thoughts about love, his complex relationship with Judaism and with God, and spoke about his writing, which has been translated into 25 languages worldwide. Take a look. Usually I write the same book all over again, but, uh, but, but then it's come out differently. I, I write about, I don't write about things, I write the things. I don't write about the war, I write the war. I mean, I write their life, I write their people, not about people or about the war. I think that we have a very good literature today. It's too bad so many, so few people read Hebrew. Even in Israel today, the Haredim don't read literature. The Arabs don't read Israeli literature. The, the Russians who come here don't read Israeli literature. So out of the seven million people who live here, only one and a half million people read Hebrew. I think that the religious Jews, not the Haredim, the Zionist religion, they do read. And they know it very well and they read a lot. You know, I'm known as the anti and, uh, and lefties and whatever. But they read me very much and, and they like my books, even though I write some terrible things about Jewish laws and things. Yoram Kanyuk was often quoted criticizing Judaism and religious laws in Israel. In a controversial move, Kanyuk petitioned the Ministry of Interior Affairs in 2011, opting to change the status in his national identity card from Jewish to no religion, similarly to his child and grandson, who are half Christian. His relationship with Judaism was fairly complex. People wrote about me that I'm the only Jewish writer in Israel, and I'm a Jewish writer. And I became very interested in Judaism, but not, not in the religion, because I never believed in God. I don't believe that God exists. And, uh, but I like the, the language, the, 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 the culture of the Jewish religion, the poems, the stories, the Hasidic, the Kabbalah, the, the Bible, of course. And, and so I write all, all the time about Jews and Israelis. Judaism today is destroying Judaism. Today, the Jews in Israel are becoming more and more, I mean, the religious Jews become more and more uh, like the people that used to haunt them. The Bible is, is a parable, it's the greatest book that ever written. But I don't see the reason why should you try to find things that are not written there in order to make it easier for a good Jew to read. The greatest Jew I know in the history beside Moses is Jesus, but he's called a Christian. But there's no one single Jew who ever been more Jewish than Jesus Christ. He followed all the laws, all the mitzvot. When I think of him, I think of about a great Jew. And I don't, don't care if later on his uh, teaching became Christianity, because Christianity didn't continue with this kind of Jewishness. It became something else. If a country doesn't make a division between religion and the state, it become like Iran. It become clerical. It become... We should arrive at the end to the point where religious people can be religious, non-religious people can be non-religious. So you'll have a nation. I write some terrible things about Jewish laws and things. But I also love it. I, I love and hate Judaism. Kanyuk fought in Israel's 1948 War of Independence, and his encounters with Holocaust refugees who arrived on ships to Israel at that time greatly impacted his literature and his perception of God. How can you explain that million children, million children, young, were killed in the Holocaust? Million children that didn't make any wrong, didn't do any wrong. So you have to believe in strongly in a God like that. Why should, should, should they have been suffering so much? All Judaism, all the Kabbalah and all the Hasidut, the all anti-establishment uh, cults, because they didn't understand why God loves us so much, we have to suffer so much. And, and th this is a theological question that are very difficult to do. So if you believe and you take it for it doesn't matter. My grandfather said, there is a God, not a God, I believe in him, that's all. 
but they didn't ask me to follow. Kanyuk often wrote about love and tragedy. He used dark humor in some of his books, such as this one, Magic on Lake Kineret, about a girl who was unable to love and so went on to commit serial murders as a result. When asked about his definition of love, here's what he had to say. When you love cheese and you love coffee and you love a woman and you love a man, the word love is, is, is just uh, between. I mean, there's no love as a... As a, as a as an essence, I mean, there's no place where you can get love, or it has to come from you and from someone else. In the last 150 years or so, love became the source of the marriage. Before that, there was nothing. Even today, among the Haredim, they don't have to marry the person they love. And it's very much sad for me because I think it's wonderful that you fall in love and then you live together and then you get married or not get married. Or make children, you cannot say what love is, just like you cannot say what fire is, or what uh, trellet is, or blue, or, or red, or uh, just words. I mean, words are not exactly things. You, you, so, life is something, love is something that is unexplainable. Kinyuk's last book, published in 2013, is titled Coming of Age, a biblical title insinuating the end of one's journey. Perhaps he was referring to his own. It's called Bar Bayamim. It's an expression that appears three times in the Bible. It's come to the days. Uh, but you know it means old. But only three people in the whole Bible uh, written about that they were Zaken or Bar Bayamim. Old and old. I don't know if I'll be here, but uh, I'm also old and old. A few short months following this interview, Kanyuk died of cancer. In his will, Kanyuk donated his body to science. His widespread criticism of Judaism, of Israel, and what's become of it today, in his opinion, has gone viral on the internet ever since his passing. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.